Hey folks, so we're here with Mike again. Hi Mike, thanks Hi for having us. Hi Beautiful Bob. day. Uh, and we're here for solstice. And we're yeah. actually, am I allowed to tell people that it actually is the solstice today? Yeah. Yeah, it's the solstice <laughs> today. <laughs> Why are you lying to them, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> They'll see through it. <laughs> that was great acting, though. <laughs> uh, does the solstice mean anything to you? It does. It does, does it? Yeah. 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 It means that the evenings start closing in from here on. <coughs> the days will get shorter. Yeah. Winter will be upon us before we know it. But that's when I'm feeling a bit pessimistic. Otherwise, it means this is the highlight, high, highest part of the year. You know, this is. This is it. This is well, yesterday, see, I was high as a kite yesterday. Really? But, yeah. yeah. Sort of gone down a bit today. On the downward curve. On the downward curve. Just like the pole lays. I don't know if I've told you about that, but the. You did, yeah, the it was great. The that was on the in bulk one. That was in. God, you remember sat, things like that. sat in your workshop. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't remember. Kath will remember, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that. So, we're at that. I'm not quite sure which po which point would it be on the, on, on the pole. Really, it'd be when the shavings are flying off at their best this is yeah that's a kind of whoo, shaving flying off it would just be it would yeah. yeah it'd be starting to come down now september the next uh, yeah whenever it is what have we got august june so yeah early august yeah and then there'll be another one that's that's when the harvest is that's when it all starts coming coming forth I mean, at the moment, you can see we've had some potatoes, but the sweet corn's still little, the beans are still little. I pulled one poor pathetic little carrot the other day. Salad so carrot. The, 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 potato, the, the tree potatoes, is my German, uh, are uh, still nowhere near yet, you know. German have a word for potatoes and trees, and that's an uh, apple. Erdapfel. So, no, potatoes are earth apples. Yes. It's that way around. Well, that <laughs> and isn't that French Three as well? Potatoes. Pomme de terre. Pomme de terre. I know they've got so yeah. much in common that lot. Yeah. There you all go. we've got is potatoes and apples. Great. Well, so yeah. So I mean, it, so it is confusing though, because for me, I wonder if it's because it's based on like school holidays or something. But like August is definitely the one where it's like peak summer. Yeah. Yeah. Why is why is August peak summer when this is midsummer? This is the longest day. Why is that? I don't if get you it. It's hotter in August. If you put right? something on the cooker, ah, it's not. Uh, it's it's fully not hot. It's not ready to eat when you've got the gas going. It's when it's been on the gas for some time. So we've we're That's now up to speed. <laughs> <laughs> we're now up to speed, and things will start start maturing and all that as of now yeah so this is peak peak productivity well yeah we've had that all that rain the other week and now we're getting all the suns and yeah yeah and i suppose so you're um in the middle of teaching season yeah you know i hate to call it teaching oh sorry what do you call it running courses oh <laughs> Facilitating people enjoying themselves and yeah. finding a fulfilling way to pass their time. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, I mean, how's that all going? It's going great, actually. Yeah, we've had three courses now. We've got four to go. Um, and the last two courses, I've had three repeat people, uh, mm. along with one newcomer on each. So, I was at, uh, well, especially on this last course, with the one where you dropped him, um, and, uh, yeah, there was this lady carol who uh made a really really beautiful chair and the other three who'd been in before were all guys and so yeah we were all basically she had four people helping her make this chair really and she got a lovely chair out of it and they learned a lot because they all wanted to make ladder backs which i hadn't done for years and years and i wasn't really interested <laughs> 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 and they wanted to make them extra tall and they, oh they all made lovely chairs they all made nice chairs but you they know. seem very happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here we are. Uh, right, okay, so we'll start off with your top back slat there. Give that a squeeze. You've marked the pencil line 23 mil. Yeah, go bury the whole lot. Bury it in there. Lovely jubbly. That's number two, is it? Yeah. Okie doke. Lovely. Yeah. 
by process of elimination is number one. Oh, that's in, right? Job done. <laughs> and then we pop that down there. So this this is what's holding it all together. This will be tight. And this you did on the pole, eh? This is this is uh, first time we've had a pole lathe turned component go in for 10, 15 years, I should think. That's bottoms, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, that looks looks like 25 mil deep. So we got the stripy side facing us. So we got the oval going the right way there. In you go. Yep. Yeah. Lovely, that's it. Have you got the other leg? Yeah. Let's have a look along there. That looks that looks promising. Lovely. That's it. No, that's it. Okay. Hang on. That's it. That's enough there for the moment. We're gonna have to get this. We'll go the, get we'll get this seat rail in next. Pop that down again. And then as that's going in, this goes in as well. You put those little rings on there with that clever idea that they're locking if the leg shrinks. That'll do you there for the moment. So I'm now just looking to make sure the legs are same distance off the bench. Slightly down there. Yeah, and you go. You go all the way with this. That's it. Lovely. So those top ones are pinged out. So we want to just make sure they're all going in now. When the other when this so goes in. Right yeah, seat rail. That's another one that probably was only about 23 mil deep, but that would be fine that. When we drill this way, that will lock it in place. Now we'll just pop those back up there and work, work our way up with these now. That? They're, they're probably the already at that. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. Well, you'll find that will flatten out that. Uh, hopefully, we'll always be able to get rid of that pencil line if you need to. I think that's probably there, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so we've got a wee bit of a pencil line, but you can get rid of that. There's no way that's going to come out. So uh, what we'll do is we'll make a couple of pins and put them in there, and that'll be hold that together nicely. Look at that. Three. Well done, Mark. Very well. So, so it's not teaching; it's facilitating or running running a workshop. Yeah, I mean, I got into this not not because I couldn't make a living out of making chairs, because I never wanted to be a chair maker. I had no aspirations at all. I'm, I've probably told you all this, but um, it was recreation management was my thing and getting mm. people out in the woods. But now I'm not quite in the woods, although you can see the trees are getting bigger by the hour. Just going back, so because um, we did uh, in that first video that we did, and that wasn't even part of the series when we when you talked about your was it your dissertation or something yeah. on that. In that Zoom uh, chat we yeah. had you and and we, that was meant to be what we we're going to talk about a lot in the series, and right, now we're yeah. kind of 
I guess it's this halfway through now. Yeah, yeah of probably. course it is because it's solstice. Yeah, yeah so <laughs> yeah. we're halfway through. Uh, I don't think we've really talked about it much. Right. So that's that's what I thought we should have um, a chat about today. Really, yeah. was I guess um, in terms of yeah, like what what were you trying to achieve? Have you achieved those things? Are you still achieving those things? Those kind of questions. Right. Well, yeah. This is it. This is why yeah. I was going to die or retire or one of those sort of things that you do. Because. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you've been threatening to retire for years. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I like to keep people on their toes. But uh, yeah, my aim was to get people back in touch with trees and woodlands mm. uh, in the in the seventies. What was it? Was I was twenty? No, it wasn't then. Particularly, I, no, I was just young and getting pissed and things. But yeah, when mm. I in the eighties, uh, yeah, the whole thing was to make people aware of woodlands and what wonderful things they are. And uh, Jeff on the course who was here last week. Uh, yeah, he said one of one of the favourite one of his favourite things ever is that bit I wrote in the front of Green Woodwork, which I repeated in Going with the Grain. I think. Oh right. That if we lived in a world of stained glass and not stained glass in a world <laughs> of glass and steel and uh, you know all these plastics and things like that and if someone were to come along and invent a tree good grief you know can you imagine can you imagine it if if yeah. we didn't have trees and then someone came along there's this thing it take it, it sucks up all the carbon it creates something which can be used as a fuel it can be used as building it can be used for making uh, small objects uh and the factory where it grows, you know, is a beautiful place to go. Take dogs for a walk. It's cool on a hot day. It's it's sheltered on a, on a horrible day. Stops flooding. Stops flooding. S yeah, stops hills. I mean, it, there's a, oh, you could go on for hours, right? Yeah, you could. I, and uh, but we, it's it's like so much in life, you know. If, if if it's already there, you just take it for granted. And yeah, it's the same with this garden here. You know, I've been here 25 years. And it, okay, it started off a field, but now it's it's a little paradise and um, you know that's now the the level you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I'm ready to go to the next paradise you know <laughs> wh whatever wherever that may be you know. <laughs> so this morning you were out were you out this morning doing your green, par green party thing I was out this morning I was out yesterday afternoon and uh, I mean I'm fully on board with that I think the politics of the left and right is just so last century mm. and um, is not going to help us in any way, shape or form. So I'm fully on board. Obviously, I don't think we have the choice where I'm based, but I think anyone that can vote green should vote green. Mm. Um, and so I think for me, that's part of the reason I wanted to do this kind of series really is to um, for, so from one side, we both uh, encourage people to love trees by placing value on the material, right? So mm. people come mm. and make a chair and then they're fascinated by their interaction with the material and they start to care more about the trees. Um, but then the other aspect for me is that kind of full circle, literally, of um, the seasons and the sun. And I guess trying to bring a more... I don't know what word I would use, but a different view on the planet and where we're at and what we need. Um, so just, yeah, I just wonder, do you, is there any spiritual aspect of it for you with trees? Do you, do you, would you say that you have any kind of spiritual connection with trees or do you believe in anything that's mildly out there with that kind of thing? every year that goes by i find it more and more difficult to say there isn't something funny going on you, you, you know you and i yeah. both know tamsin's friend jackie morris we were talking to her about some of the amazing things that are happening to her when her new book comes out you know she's she's about to do the illustrations of a bird mm. <laughs> then she finds she's in the f this flock of that particular bird you know or one comes down and sits on her hand you know mm she says she still says oh that was an amazing coincidence and I was saying do you still believe that that's a coincidence Jackie you know is it not something more uh, and but 
you know, I, I can't explain it. But n now you're getting science, you're getting quantum physics and things, which is far more wacky and unbelievable than having a big bloke sat on a cloud up there coming up with ideas. Mm. And so I, I don't know. I don't know what goes on. And you know, on, on my census form, I put Taoist, which is basically just don't bother trying to think about that. Just experience what comes along and, and feel which way things are going and, and go with them. That, that's basically how I do it. Whether you call that spiritual or 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 it's certainly not religious, um, but there is an element of something which I certainly don't understand. In mm. but uh, I, I I relish kind of going with it and running with it and see where it takes you. Yeah, and I think because it's interesting because it, you're very practical. So, you know, when you're just practical with bits of wood, you ask me to do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but I mean, I, I actually just thinking um, how your viewpoints often seem very practical. So yeah, when you're yeah. describing the magic of a tree, um, most of that was around the kind of practicalities of how wonderful well, yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I just wonder if there's something more when you look at a tree and you just be like that. That's a pretty strange thing, isn't it? <laughs> you know, a tree well, is a yeah. pretty strange thing, it isn't is, it? It is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you could call me a tree worshipper, I suppose, you know. Yeah. In, in, in uh, I'm not quite, quite sure in what sort of way, but yeah. It is, I mean, it, the, I, I, th I definitely get the, the concept of like that, that valuing something and that depth of relationship, which is, I find really valuable. And that constantly people are trying to sell me logs. And I'm like, what is this log you're trying to sell me? This is, so how can you not tell the difference between this and a really good one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think it's, for me, I just think that um, when we're looking to the future and this kind of, like you're talking about the kind of consumerism and science and all of that side of things, um, I don't know, I just feel like a different viewpoint could maybe be helpful. You know, I think, mm. and that that concept of um, marking the eight stations of the sun and yeah. the trees, and yeah, I guess maybe kind of taking a step outside of just consumerism and science and placing a different kind of value on those things might help people look after the planet better. because the seasons are there for free, especially. You know, when you well, depending on which part of the world you live in, they be the seasons mm. behave differently depending where you are. But they're there to be savoured, and you don't have to earn a certain amount of money to pay for the privilege. Totally, cool. Well, I mean, I do think this time of year it's nice to just relax, isn't it? But you're probably not really meant to be. If you're a farmer, what are you doing this time of year? If worrying farmer, about your plants getting hay there are quite a few of them are getting hay in yeah but yeah if you're a farmer i don't know weeding Spraying. what are you up to in your garden uh well i'm pulling potatoes now oh uh, great we should go and do that in a minute okay are you going to give me some potatoes to take home i'll give you some potatoes to take home oh, you? You like. yeah you don't have to gave some to jackie the other day she loved it yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, pu I pulled them up just before we set off and within two hours we were eating them and she said that was really nice, that, yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know whether we've really covered much of what we should, but, not, I mean, not, solstice. Not, not a lot of woodworking there. But no. Uh, Do we care about the woodwork? <laughs> <laughs> when I'm doing it, yeah. yeah. I do, yeah. So, <laughs> I, do. The, I mean, uh, the, I have got this draw bit in my hand, which everyone seems to be using at the moment. It's a wood owl right? bit. Wood owl, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was going to ask you about it, but I think we <laughs> should do a video on contraptions because you've got so many blooming contraptions right, yeah. to make life easier. Yeah. And uh, I would be interested, next session we do, we should talk about contraptions and I'd be interested uh, on your favourite contraptions and which ones have survived and why you're always, you love new contraptions. You always have something new in the workshop, don't you? Like there's, yeah. It's to keep me interested, yeah. yeah. It's, it's so well, don't tell them because we're going to do it next no, time. No, it's instead, <laughs> instead of doing Sudoku's and all is those it? things, that yeah. you're supposed to stop you getting dementia, you know. So, 
I have to keep coming up with new things to keep my brain on the go, as you probably will have noticed when you were here you know, last week. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to say something quite contra contrary about contraptions right. next session. Oh, right, so okay. That will keep them um, interested. I, I should be quaking in my boots. Oh, we're well not too contrary. Yeah, <laughs> it's nothing to worry about. Right, come on then, let's go and get some potatoes. Right, yeah. the fork is sitting there waiting. Oh, Ooh. perfect. It's a nice fork, that. It's a beautiful fork, actually, yeah. Barney. Uh, right. Ooh. It's just to keep the animals out. Great. Although the cat can get through there. So it's a sort of cat. Uh, uh, what sanctu what do cats the cats do wrong? Cat sanctuary. Well, no, cats don't do anything wrong. The, it's, <laughs> it's to stop the dog annoying the cat. So the cat comes in here as a sanctuary, you know. Mm. Oops. Come on, you little rascals. Whoa, Whoa there we go. Oh, look at those. Look oh, at that. It really lovely. is magic, isn't it, potatoes? It's, it, they are wonderful things, aren't they? I think these are good ones. I don't think they've had to... They're starting to get things in there. I don't know the technicalities of... Oh, look at that. That's, oh, we're going to have chips tonight, so that'll be chips. We should be eating them as new potatoes. Look at them. Look at that. Yeah, Again, it's brilliant. almost as magical as trees, isn't it? You know, you sort of look in the ground as people... Uh, what was it? A detectorist? It's yeah, like, I love it's, the it's detectorist. It's like the detectorist, isn't it? You know, they're going around with their little machine and they'll find something there. Whereas, uh, yeah, it's a... Look at that. I mean, it's not a phenomenal crop, but and it's not a huge value or anything like that. You know, it's less than a quid's worth, I should think. But it's the satisfaction of it, having put a little one little thing in there. And uh, there might be some more in there. I don't know. Yeah, that's about it. But yeah, isn't that a, a beautiful lovely fork? Yeah, it's the fork equivalent of one of my chairs. That. Brilliant. Goodness. Is it made from cleft steel? Cleft oh, steel. Oh, it's got a really nice ring to it, hasn't it? it? Beautiful, oh. yeah. They don't make them like a spear and Jackson. I can Is still it? feel yeah. that vibrating from when you pinged it. Yeah. Brilliant. Just about stopped. Right, well, yeah, happy days. So now I've got a little patch where I can put the remaining five sweet corn in there, then I'll be able to walk around there to get to my run of beans. Lovely. Great. So, and so these are your carrots. These are my carrots. Your sand carrots. Sand carrots. Wasn't, weren't you saying about sand carrots? Or was that someone else? It's somebody else. you mistaking me with somebody else. No, these are carrot carrots. These. <laughs> and the best ones I've ever produced, I th I'm hoping. I haven't really looked yet. These this are bath carrots. These are bath That's carrots. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Carrots, not sand carrots. Yeah, <laughs> bath carrots. Yeah. So well, should we pull amazing. one? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Are they meant to be planted this close to each other? Well, you normally see them in rows, but uh, I, I just... Uh, just went for it. Up you come. Oof. Oh, look <laughs> at that. <laughs> That's amazing. The first <laughs> carrot of the uh, season. Is right? it? Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, it's that's yours. a miracle. For you and Kath. Oh, that's your great. Potato, potatoes and carrot. Potatoes, plural. Carrot can scene. I just take a bite of it now? Yeah, yeah, you can indeed. Yeah. yeah. What kind of manure has this been in? <laughs> this isn't human manure. No, you, you know, well, you know, when I'm growing the peas, yeah, I use pea on the peas, but I don't use pea on the carrots. So you're all right. You're safe with that. It's just water. There's, that's that's the water that goes on it off the workshop into that green oh, tub. Good grief! Give that a smell. I'm gonna. Oof. Smells amazing, doesn't it? Tastes even better. That's your evening meal gone. Yeah, that's great. Thanks, mate. <laughs> cool. Well, cheers, guys, and we'll see you next time. Talk about contraptions. Contraptions. Yeah. And we'll see what's happened to the carrots. Save this for cat. <laughs>